I'm going to go with perspective drawing real quick. I'm going to open up a Photoshop document. We're going to make it about 800 pixels high. Let's say about 1500 pixels wide. I'm going to create a new layer. And on the back layer, I'm going to paint it white. I'm going to draw my horizon line. And turn off my arrow pins. Make sure that when you draw your lines, your fill color and your stroke color are both black. And you set the width of the line that you want. I'm holding down shift key to make sure it's perfectly horizontal. Now, notice when I draw the shape, it's going to create a new layer every time I draw a shape. So in order to keep that from happening, I'm going to come down here and create a new group. And in the group, I can put the shape inside the group. And now, as I draw my lines, it should place it in that group. I'm going to name that group. guidelines. Alright. And now this is going to be our vanishing point, so I'm going to pull another line from our vanishing point up. Notice it went in that group. And we'll pull another line down here, and we may change these lines later, we'll see what we've got. Alright. Now what these lines are going to show us is everything that's horizontal to the horizon normally is going to be along these lines on this side of the house. Everything that's horizontal with the horizon on this side of the house will come off of this Vanishing point. So we'll draw another line here. And this one we're going to bring it up a little bit a little bit quicker. And then we'll bring another one here just for reference. Now what I want, I may have to t move this line right here, but what I want is I want a line straight through here so that my two intersections are lined up with each other. So this shape right here, I'm going to delete. Actually, that's not I'm going to delete. I'm going to delete that one right there. Draw another line here. Again, hold the shift straight down. And now when I pull this one, sure that it lines up where those intersect. And now you can start seeing actually the corner of, let's say, the house that we're going to draw. Now what I'm going to do for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to select everything in this group, in my guidelines group. And I'm going to change my fill color to a gray color, and my stroke to a gray color. And that just take, took all of my lines, changed them to gray so that when I start drawing my actual house, I'm going to draw that in black so you'll be able to see the difference in what I'm drawing versus what my reference lines are. So in order to draw this, I'm going to start on this corner. I'm going to pull it back down. That's going to be the top part of my house. Not the roof, but the, where the roof meets the house itself this down. And that's going to be the corner of my house. Now again, I want these two lines to line up, so I may have to adjust this a little bit. That worked out pretty good. And I'm going to draw the other side of my house. 
down to about right there. Pull this straight down. That's going to be the other side. And you can start seeing my house take shape here. Now, I'm going to come back see this guideline here. I'm going to select this gray because I'm going to draw in a couple more guidelines here. This is going to be my windows. Top of my windows. I'm going to draw another one. Maybe the bottom of this side windows. It's going to be a two story house. So. Say about there from the top of the window. Come back to my group, change my fill, change my stroke, make sure my line selected. And I'm going to draw in a couple of windows. And you can play around with how wide you want these windows and the overall look of the house itself. Now, when I draw this window, I want to make sure that this window is going to be a little bit shorter. This one's going to be shorter than this one, given that, that depth. Uh, if it's the same size, in reality, the two windows would, this window would be bigger than this one if they were the same size. Now, you can draw guidelines even though they're not from the vanishing points. I'm going to give you an example here. Select our gray again. And I'm going to draw guidelines from here straight down. And that way I can line my windows up with each other. And the neat thing about these groups are once I'm done with my drawing, I can come over here, select this little eyeball, and my lines are gone. So I'll come back up to my group one, select my fill and stroke again, and just simply draw in my windows. You get the idea here. All right. Now, on this, the roof, I'm not going to draw a line for my vanishing point for the roof because the roof is not horizontal with the ground. The roof actually has a pitch to it. So this is where things get a little tricky. Um, you need to just play around with this and see what works. Uh, roof. Roofs have all different, what they call, pitches, so if it's a steep roof, it's got a, a steep pitch. So I'm going to draw something in and see what it looks like here. Turn my gun on. That might be a little off, but we'll leave it for the time being. I'm going to take this, and the top of my roof here is actually going to follow a guideline. So we'll come back down to my guidelines, change my fill and my stroke again. And we'll pull it up so that it reaches that. And now I know exactly where to draw the top of my roof. Up on that, so I'm reading it and step backwards. Pull it a little bit too close. I'm going to make sure I give it enough room to make that angle.
Now if we wanted to reuse some of these lines, we could actually come up here and make, let's say, a fence along this road. If this was a road here, we could reuse these reference lines. Simply click. And then we can come in here and put pickets for the fence. If we wanted to put another building back here, we could actually line it up with that. So if we wanted to draw a second house beside this house, we could use these reference lines. Um, and it would actually correspond with this. So for instance, if this was this would be the roof line of the second house. So if the second house was here, that would be the roof line for the house. This would be the side of the house. Again, bottom. There's that. We could draw the roof here. That would be the roof line. So we'll cut up here. You kind of get the picture. Now, when we turn our guidelines off, I haven't finished this picture. And one other thing about this, if you click on this little arrow here, it'll push all these things up into the folder and you'll have to look at all of them. Turn off the guideline and you can see how our pictures come along.